just got all over my mouth. I probably dropped some on my sweatshirt. I uh, lit a candle you, you can see and where did the morning go? I have no idea. So I have been working on a bulk sticker order for somebody who wants to use my stickers in his Airbnb, which is super cool. So it's kind of like a, when I do these kind of orders, I will do it as like a custom order. And instead of having them buy through my Etsy shop, I actually will make the sticker or whatever they, they want and send them an invoice through my website. So I'm kind of, doing it through my website rather than Etsy but they're based so they want this sticker and then I'm just doing a bunch some writing up here and I finished that this morning and then I just have to send in the proof to make sure it's all good to go because I am ordering uh, I think I'm ordering like 40 of them so I just want to make sure they're right because if they come back to me and they're not right that would not be good so I just finished that and now I'm ready to do some drawing or something actually you know what I think I want to do a Bob Ross painting. I haven't done one of those in a while. That seems like a good idea. Oh, but before that, I wanted to show you, I ordered some washu tape for my sketchbook so that I can outlay things. And I'm hoping that the washu tape doesn't pull up the paper because when I use any other type of tape um, it tends to pull up the paper so I wanted to test some of these out and I got them in the mail I ordered from uh, pretty paper bits so I ordered from this business uh, through Etsy and they're the cutest designs look at these I only got samples because I wasn't sure but I got some bees, there's the flower, and then this one is so cute. So I'm going to kind of do a test print with that and see if it works. I think it should work, but who knows. So I got those. I'm very excited to use those. I don't know if I'm going to use those today or not, but I have them. And yes, I think I'm going to do a Bob Ross painting. Let me see. I have to count. I think I'm on episode one. I mean, season one, episode four, I believe. Yes. I'm going to do the fourth one. So let's do that.
There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. There's a new day to take away your sorrow. Washed out by the rain. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you this. If you try to get some. I am pretty happy how it turned out. I am still struggling with the texture of the clouds. The trees are getting a little better. I think the bushes are okay. I just have to find the right brush. Maybe I just don't have the right brush. Um, but they look better than my last one. So let me show you. This is how it turned out. Oh my god, the reflection is terrible. And let me see if I can zoom in. So the trees, these are the trees. They don't look horrible. I think the bushes are okay. Um, pretty proud of this little house that I got going on there. And the clouds just look like a blurry mess. But I think that the mountain texture, just um, right here and right here, I think I got that down. It's, you know, it's a work in progress. But I'm very happy with how it turned out. I still have to, the cloud is just, ignore the clouds. So, that's that. I had to pause for a thumbnail, so that's what like pausing for a thumbnail. It's really exciting. <laughs> what to do now is the question. I don't really have that much to do today. Oh, I sent out my first email. Very exciting. If you don't know, or if you haven't watched my previous vlogs, that's kind of all I've been talking about. But I started an email campaign and I launched my first email campaign on the first, which is very exciting. I realized, oh my God, you guys, I realized that my initial welcome. So when, if you, when you go to my website and you enter your email to sign in, I thought that I set up an automation that immediately sent you a welcome email with a print that you can download. However, I discovered like a day before I was sending out my email that it didn't work and it wasn't sending these automated emails and nobody told me. <laughs> I, had, I had no idea so I don't know. 
I had, n I had no idea that it wasn't working. I'm pretty sure I fixed it. I tested it like two times just to make sure. So now if you sign up to get my email, you should receive a welcome email. Fingers crossed that that is good. So in the email that I sent out on the first, there was a free download of a to-do list and a calendar. And I was able to, for those folks who have good notes, I was able to make a size that fit into the program. So this is it. I have been using it. This is my to-do list. And then you can also import the calendar in here too. So it's super, super cool. Here's the calendar. Now that my email's up and going, I want to do kind of like an Etsy bundle. So I want to have the Sunflower calendar, the Sunflower to-do list. I want to make, actually I have one. Let me show you. I made a sunflower like daily planner. So this is it. And it basically just has the times, the time of the day. So I have that one. And then I want to make another one that is like the days of the week and then kind of bundle that all together and sell that on my Etsy shop. So people who are not subscribed to my email or who don't want to still have access to purchase the calendar. So I've been working on that. Lots of things going on. But I think right now I want to do something in my sketchbook. I'm not sure what. Maybe I'll do like plants. That'd be fun. Ooh, maybe I'll do like a plant shelf. I think I'm gonna do that. That could be cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, it's recording. I realized that I ran out of space and I was just talking for a good 10 minutes and it wasn't recording. So let's try this again. So I'm very happy how this turned out. This is it. So I ended up doing a whole plant spread and I wanted to use this page because I am not good at using as you can see the backs of the page so I tried to make it look like a shelf like plants on a shelf hopefully it reads as a shelf not sure it's just kind of a line I didn't make it like three-dimensional or anything but I think it's fine I like it it makes me want to make a plant shelf. I don't know where I would do that to where the plants get sun but also my cats can't jump on it because I feel like every wall, unless it's this back wall, oh but my cat can jump up there and then jump there. I don't want my cats jumping on my plant shelf. I guess I could do it above my computer but I don't know. Maybe one day. But until then, I drew one. And that is that. So I have had quite a productive day, I might say. I got up like around 9 and I've been going ever since and it's 4 o'clock already. So I think I'm going to call it quits for the day. I've done quite a bit. And I checked a bunch of things off my list, which I'm super happy about. I approved my sticker proofs. And I 
I sent those out. So I should hopefully be getting those next week and then I can send them to the customer. Yeah. I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys have a fabulous week ahead and I will see you next week. Bye.